Do you want to list WordPress posts inside tables? Want to organize WordPress posts, pages, and custom post types, on sortable and filterable tables? When you have hundreds or thousands of posts on your site, displaying content in WordPress posts tables can help your site's audience find the content they need. You can build member directories, document libraries, audio libraries, upcoming events lists, and many other types of content inside tables by using post tables. You could also use a table to display your WooCommerce products. It is ideal for online spare parts stores, audio stores, restaurant food menus, takeaway menus, electronics stores, affiliate stores, and so on. This is where the Tablesum plugin comes in. Tablesum is a WordPress post table plugin that helps you showcase WordPress posts. Pages, WooCommerce, and many other custom post types into sortable and filterable tables. You can easily download the Tablesome plugin by clicking the link given in the description and create the WordPress post tables. Let's see how to create a WordPress post table with Tablesome. In this WordPress site, we have installed and activated Tablesome, and it also has many WordPress posts that we will add to a table. Go to Tablesome and click Create New Table. Give this post table a suitable name and go to the workflow section. Go to the trigger one section. Here you will have all of the tablesome triggers listed and you have to select the tablesome on table load trigger. Then in the action one section, you have to select the replace table content with WP query action. Now you can query any of the WP post in the query filters section. You will find a list of all the post types available on your site. You have to select the post type to display. In the Where section below, you could add filters to filter only the posts you want to add to the table. It can be filtered on various post properties such as post title, post author, post status, etc. You can add multiple filters to the post fields to filter out and list only the WP posts you need. Then in the Map Post Fields section, you have to map the table columns to the respective post fields. Tablesome gives you many post fields available for you such as post title, featured image, content, excerpt, author, taxonomies, and many more. You can add the post fields you need and give a name to their respective table columns which will be displayed on the front end. If you want to add some custom fields you can do so by selecting the post meta in the post field and paste the meta key of the custom field. We will see how to do this in the later part of this video. After adding the necessary post fields you can save the table. Copy this table's shortcode and paste it on the page where you want to add this WordPress post table. We will add this shortcode to the Elementor page we have on the site. After adding the shortcode let's save the page and see our post table. We can see that the post table is created and it comes with all of the post fields that we have added in the workflow. We can also customize the various table elements and the styles of this post table. In the table edit page, you will have a style tab, 
where you can customize the styles of the table. You can also customize the table elements such as filters, search bar, sorting, pagination, etc. Besides the post content you can also add WordPress pages, WooCommerce products, and other cus- You can see that we have created a WooCommerce product table with several product fields such as product image, product title, product description, product rating, product categories, stock status, and more. Let's create a new table to showcase WooCommerce products. We will select the table sum, on table load trigger and the replace table content with WP query action. We will select the product post type in the query filter and can add other filters below to filter out the products. In the map post field section, let's add the product fields data to display in the table and map the product fields with the table columns. After adding all the product fields to tables, let's save this table and preview how it looks. We can see that the WooCommerce products content is added to the front end table. Besides the given post fields, we can also include other fields including custom fields and other post metadata to the table columns. You have to add the post meta key to add the data to the table column. If you want to know how to get the meta keys of the post metadata, see the last part of the video. Let's save this table and see the preview. The post meta fields that we have added are added to the table. If you're wondering where you could find the post meta keys, you could easily find them on your WordPress site database. Go to the database of your WordPress site. Then go to WP Post Meta. Then click Select Data and search for the post metadata for which you want to find the meta key. You can find the meta keys in this table. Copy the meta key that you need and paste it on the table some map fields section. Save this table with the post meta keys and see the preview. We can see that the product fields that we have added to the WooCommerce product table are added. If you have any questions, reach us through the support link provided in the video description. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel to get updates on more videos like this.